What is up, you guys? Train Hunter 94 here today. I'm going to show you my Star Wars Blade Builders collection. I'm, I've been collecting Star Wars ever since I was like six or seven. Way before. This is way after I collect, started collect, collecting comics and friends. But after the last video, after I recorded um, my collection, which I will leave in the description below, I was thinking, why don't I just start my channel with collection videos? And go on and on. So I thought I'd do Star Wars. Then my pro next, probably my next video would be my um Matchbox Fire fight my fire truck collection. It's really it's really fun. I I I had them for a long time since my dad used to collect them as a boy. Since he is a fire fighter, but that's as far as I'm gonna go up with my father. Blah blah blah. And before I start the Star Wars collecting. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll just say this out now. I'm a Star Wars nerd. Oh, thank God I got that out. So, my parents were, were out shopping, like, I think it was Kohl's. They found a Star Wars Force Awakens canvas. I own the movie. I own the, um, I own the Blu-ray DVD combo thing, movie. Sorry if the camera shakes. I'm using my phone as a camera since I don't actually have a better camera than this. But, um, as First Order Stormtrooper, Kylo Ren, Finn, Chewie, Rey, Poe, which you can barely see, BB-8, down the bottom, C-3PO, R2, Phasma, and other troopers. My favorite character would have to be Rey, because she's force-using B-word. <laughs> she's force-using bad A-word, so that's, that's So, let's get to the collection, um... Here, if I reach back here, it's like the Jedi Master lightsaber. This is the Je this is the saber that comes in the big set where you get all the awesome pieces. I actually got this one at the, I got I used to have this is my second one so far. Whoa, I'm losing balance. The first one I won off of eBay of a bidding war, and I got that. <laughs> Luckily, I got that on Christmas Eve, but. Christmas didn't go too well. I have to say, my sister went went hard, since my parents spent a good fifty hundred bucks. I don't know how much the cost was. She she got rage, so she grabbed my, one of my old lightsabers and knocked the blade out. So so then we returned it like oh like two, a few months later to Toys R Us. We were actually able to fake it. Well, I actually bought this one and then returned the old one in, in, in the Toys R Us box that came with this one. But, enough chit-chatting. It has a nice silver, a gold, blackish type of color. And I, this is my favorite lightsaber because it has a smooth grip. So I can, I can really grip this. And when... I, my nephew likes this also because he he likes the imaginary fight, so he can just go like. All you gotta do is stop your wrist. Okay, that was bad. Or just stop. Or just stop everything. But that is. That here's the Ray 2016. Once again, another fancy graphic. When I saw the prototype of this on um, actually wasn't a prototype. It was more like. Looking on eBay, <laughs> I thought the activation switch is here or here. Since in the movie, not really a spoiler, but Finn turns it on right here. This is the way he turned it on, but it's actually right here. I have a smooth grip with this one, and this one's actually easy to use because I can use like, like the bottom of my hand or top of my wrist, same thing, and push the button. Then activate it. Then go hardcore. And guys, if you like Star Wars and fan films, then you might then get, you might want to be prepared because I'm making a, I'm actually making a fan film. It is called Star Wars Between. It's supposed to be between six and seven. No, it's not real. It's just my. It's just what I think. Of what actually happens happened in between six and seven, but just a heads up. I don't 
have a trailer out yet or anything like that. Here is Darth Vader. Lightsaber. This is one of the first ones. This is a really nice grip. And it's easy to swing. Like hard, if you guys know what I mean. But activation switches right here. These buttons. I think it's like a force effects lightsaber. Is that to turn on? I don't know. I never owned a force effects lightsaber. I know my friend does, but it's broken. Not broken, it's just it's not hit. It wouldn't turn it on, but it's right for another day. Okay, here is a um, Obi Wan Kenobi, but Re Revenge of the Sith. Very fun to play with. Nice grip, but I actually have a con for this. If I'm if I'm angry and I want to squeeze this, it actually kind of hurts my hand because the these kind of these these little this part of the handle plus these parts. In between kind of hard but not a big deal then the activation button is or switch whatever you want to call it right here very fun and accurate here is the Luke Skywalker return of the Jedi lightsaber and this one is not electronic. Speak to electronics. If you want to get a light dag or electronic saber, you're going to need AAA batteries. Like, three of them. So, three times. You need, like, 30. That's my estimated guess. But, all you got to do is fuck the rest. Um, This right here is his... I think he went after Obi Wan got killed and he lost his main lightsaber. I think he tried to base it off of his mentors. If you kind of look, it's kind of the same. I don't. I also have a con for this because my my three year old nephew he loves this, but he when we like fight, he actually loses grip because this handle. To be honest, even on me, if you're like adult and you collect this, then. Not a big deal for you, but it's kind of, it has a big ring around the hilt. I can, I can barely even touch my fingers. So. Not a big deal, though. Here's Kylo Ren. I actually, excuse me. This is the first lightsaber I, I should not say the lightsaber, Blade Builders lightsaber I ever owned. It was the beginning of October, and we were looking for Kylo Halloween costumes, and we, and I want to be Kylo Ren, so, because, because they just look magnificent, so, I chose Kylo Ren, I got a lightsaber, awesome, yeah, ah, these are hard to close, ah, jeez, ooh, um, Go, we'll go right to light daggers, and then we'll do all the adapter stuff. We got two green light light daggers. I'm only gonna grab one. This came with the Jedi Master lightsaber. Very small. These are good for like when you wanna when you sneak it. You just wanna do like a sneak stab. You know, maybe slice after you, after the dagger goes in. Once again, three triple A's. Very smoother hilt. It's actually, this is actually fit in a pocket, but I'm wearing pajamas right now, so. Activation, activation buttons right here. And then here I got the red dagger. This did not come with the Kylo Ren. This came with the spinning daggers set, I think. Not sure of the title, but once again, three triple A's. I like the gold on this. It just shines very well. If you look at it from this kind of angle, uh, um, looks like Star Killer base when it beams. I don't know. So I'm actually liking this. So Hasbro, if you're wa if, if any, 
if someone who's watch who works for Hasbro is watching this video, keep up the good work. I really like it. And then here is the blue light dagger, and this is the actually. I believe this is the actual first time a blue dagger has been introduced into the Blade Builder series. Because the red one came with the electronic come with the electronic Kylo Ren. But this only came, this also came with a spinning hilt. Once it, but the light dagger has no sound. All of them don't. It's the same detailing as the red. Now you got the second um green dagger. We're already at the 10 minute mark, so I gotta speed up a little bit. Here is the five way hilt. If you're like a young one, you think in three, four, four, five. One, two, three, four, four, five. This is actually good for if you like to use like daggers, you can just like hold it like this. And then, this, this is actually good because you, I have, you have, I can have a good grip on this. And it just looks cool. To be honest, that's all I got. Looks cool, awesome grip. Um, so this is definitely gonna be one of my favorites. Here is the spinning hilt. With why I call it spinning hilt, it's kind of like if you guys watch Star Wars Rebels, this is very similar to the Inquisitors, but or. 2010 General Grievous light taper, it's the, it's the exact same thing. I don't know if, if the Grievous has a switch, but you flip it, and then you spin it. So, I'll grab it. You guys can probably just see that it spins. Don't. Ugh. So, if you have it... So you can lock it, but only when both ends touch the adapters. So if I have, like, middle, I cannot lock it. Um, here's the cross connector. I like to use this as, like, a thing to throw. But I really going to call it cross connector. <sighs> this is actually a curse. If you guys hate math... Because I do. I actually hate it. And don't look at this because addition, multiplication. <laughs> but four sides, which is ultimate. I. This is my original adapter before I got the three other electronics. So, pretty cool. Two elbow connectors. I'm only going to get one since both of them come with the Jedi Master. Um, I like to put daggers on and then, like, use that as a gun, sort of. Bam, bam, bam. Hashtag sniper. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Kidding. But this is, this is good for, like, if I look on my little key here. This is good for sabers like this one. It's kind of blurry, but you want to tilt it upwards. Here is the blade connector, I call it. This is what I call it, the blade connector. I actually don't know its official name. If you guys know what, the, what this is called, please comment it in the description below. But I call it the blade connector because if it slides over the Jedi Master blade, then it connects to other lightsabers. Nothing too fancy, but... Gotta, gotta stay cool. And then I got three other adapters. I got the... I got a red one, which came with Vader. And I got two blue ones. One came with Obi-Wan. Let me just push it back. Ah! And then the other one came with Rey. So, so that is my whole Blade Builders collection. If Hasbro makes more... I will collect it, obviously. If you guys see a saber that is not shown, but there, I believe I have every one of them for so far. But not they're not all electronic, so smash that like button. Also hit that subscribe button. It would help a huge bunch. But this is Train Hunter 94. Signing off. Thanks for watching. See you next time.
See ya!